Yeah, the Hyperion, the four Hyperion books, you can do that. Because books one and two are sequels to each other. And while books, book three is related and is a sequel, it's essentially new characters just pushing the story forward. More or less new characters. But uh, Hyperion is sort of set up a little unconventional, the first book. Because it's essentially like... It's essentially like... I think it's five short stories almost because all of the characters um, tell stories from their past, their respective pasts, and each story is different. And it basically, basically Hi there. paints a character portrait for each one. It's really awesome. Yeah, that's a good, that's a, a fair comparison. Um, but it's, it's all in one book. Because the Asimov Foundations are like, each book advances the timeline. Um, all six stories, well no, yeah, the overarching thing is a bit like Foundation. Um, okay. Except it's only like, like story one and story two. But in in the the first book, it's all just, it's all like the short stories contained together. Yeah, I really like Hyperion. I know it's not doing anything, I just like hearing the noise. It's like pushing an elevator button over and over again, even though you know it doesn't do anything. Yeah, give Hyperion a whirl. It's it's definitely worth it. And then the second book in the Hyperion series is a direct sequel to the first one. Um, and it's told completely conventionally. And you're you're getting it from all of the characters' point of point of views, oh, hello, but it's really really well told. So the first book is almost like an anthology series, and then you get like this normally told story in the second book with all the same characters. It's it's really unique how it's set up. Okay, I'm like, where'd the hero go? Um, it's also fairly unique, like, the world is fairly unique, without being, like, obnoxiously so. Move along now, stranger. Um, that's true. Dune... Dunes 1, 2, and 3 are good. Dune 4, I'd say it's 50-50. Some of the aspects are good. Some of it goes a little too preachy with its politics. And in books 5 and 6 are pretty boring. And then it doesn't have an ending. 
because Frank Herbert died before we could write Dune 7. And Dune 7 was split up into two books and written by his son, who had a co-author. I would say if you're if you're into Dune, read books five and six, um, and maybe give the seven a try. Um, otherwise, you can read one, two, and three. Maybe give four a go. Like, four, four also gets very bizarre. I don't want to spoil how it gets bizarre, but, uh, four gets bizarre. And that flash freeze deals so much damage. Or no, it's not the flash freeze. It's one of the things it shoots, I think. Yeah, that. No, it might be the wave. Well. Here's word of renewal. So let's put this, let's put this over here. Hopefully I remember to cast it there. Word of renewal. Get some pep in my step. Just gotta remember it doesn't cast like, I personally have to remember it doesn't cast like, whoops. Um, Pneumatic Burst, where it's always, almost always ready to go. There are a lot of great classics. I mean, they wouldn't be classics if they weren't great, right? Are those stairs down new? Or have I just never noticed them before?
You know, in this particular setup, there's a lot of stand around and wait. At least when it comes to killing the bosses. Full up. I have to remember to keep space for the the fabric. Uh, what was the skill with the Inquisitor? Inquisitor Prefix. Nah. I know that's the cold rune, but I'm not interested in the uh, cold skills at all. You can keep it. Or the. I'm not interested in the runes at all. Not. Interested in the cold skills, of course. Not the rune, though. Did I get three fabric off that? Okay, I did. Oh, I know something I missed. I'll grab it when I head back out here. Yeah, it was Negan. Oh, oh, oh God. Sorry. <laughs> Game was spazzing out there. I think now is a good time to stop as soon as I get Negan.
there at Foggy Bank. I'll turn all these quests in and we'll see. We'll see if the experience is as crazy as I'm hoping it's going to be. Oh, we had to go uh, talk to Duncan, too. That was me, like, cracking every bone in my hand. Eh, you kind of get used to it. What do you want? I can't do that. What's with all the Why do you have a blood of Cathan? Bourbon, why do you have a blood of Cathan? I forgot to actually turn any other quests with him. Mythic? Because I need the mythic version. We didn't ding. Zero out of ten. Worst character. Worst game. Oh, wait. Never mind. There it is. We're good. Okay. I have no idea what to level next. <laughs> I think we're going to go for Myvin's Sphere and build up our defense. I mean, I could go... I could go for a gun and try a gun skill out. I just don't think it'd be that useful. Oh, let's go for the OA, jeez. I feel compelled to keep that salt bag for some reason. It's almost like the salt speaks to me. Oh. Yeah, away. I'll just sell that. Ooh, do I have that badge in here? I do. Get that little extra bit of experience going.
All right. We're almost level 20. Yeah, I could trade General Joe. Oh yeah, let me point this out cuz earlier today um before I was streaming I had the Star Keeper drop. And I want this full set for my druid. And he he would absolutely get a massive damage boost if he can get this with the Mythic Star Fury Emerald. Oh, nice. Oh, that can drop in the Crucible. Yeah, before I go, is there anything you particularly need for that, John O'Dell? Or do you just want to donate it? Because I do believe... I do believe Kava would like to play some Heroes of the Storm with me. And we're going to do that off stream. I just realized what I did with his name. Ogden Blooms? Um, he's Mage Hunter. Yeah, he's going to get opened... <laughs> My mage hunter is going to get opened up in Grim, in a uh, Grim stash, GD stash, and have his name swapped. I have three. Mythical Gildum Arcanum badge that I can check for. Yeah, uh, Ugden blooms are not a thing I really want to trade for. Hmm. Nope, no, nope, I don't got that. I've only got three mythical... Three mythical medals. Four mythical medals. Oh, nope, that's three still. That's a duplicate. Yeah. So just let me finish off by doing a little theory craft on Mage Hunter. So we're doing Panetti's, and I'm going to take it all the way down to 50 on the Arcana side. I'm probably going Star Pact because, like I mentioned before, cooldown, cooldown. Cool down. Cool down. Cool down. That's six cooldown abilities guaranteed. I could go for Aura of Censure for its elemental resistance reduction. We'll see about that. Um, I would definitely say I'm going for Arcane Empowerment. And I think we're going to go for Death Sentence for its Aether Resistance Reduction. Um, and you know what? This might be good too for the Impaired Aim. Oh god, yeah, we're going to go for Deadly Aim. Straight up, I think, Deadly Aim. Um, the runes, I don't care about. Stormbox, I think we're going to go for, maybe. Because one of the item sets I could do is... 
um, Alagas Mas Alagas Masterpiece, which is Lightning Aether. So I could focus Lightning Aether with this, because we can do any of the elemental types or all of them and Aether with Panetti's. So if I go. Yeah, we're not doing the fucking horn. Um, so if I go with Death Sentence, and if I go with the Storm Box, with that set, I think we'll we'll do pretty well. And I think I'm just going to go down to 40 on this side. Just to get um, Arcane Empowerment going. If I use Null Field... I don't know if I'll use Null Field yet. It is casting speed reduction. That is a problem for Panetti's, but we may we may overcap our casting speed just picking it up and using all of the gear for it. Yeah, Panetti's, I'm definitely putting a bunch of points into the main missiles. Probably distortion and probably proliferation and a one point supercharged. I think I'd at least go 12 and 12. And obviously, inner focus, we're going to max out at some point. Um, with Arcanum Sigillus and Mythical Spellgaze being in the game now, I think Iskander's Elemental Exchange is going to be capped and then overcapped. And Overload and Elemental Balance, I'll see about. Elemental Balance will probably run 12 out of 12. Stretching my points then, no. Mental Alacrity could go cap. I would not put any points in Fabric of Reality unless I have spare points. Nullification, Arcane Will, or One Pointers is out as usual. Oh, I know what I can do. I think for... I think I'm going to go for Mirror with my next two levels. And I think I'm going to do Point, Point on the Masteries. So Mastery Point, Mastery Point. Then pick an ability and tick a point into it. That way I can level up Panetti's while leveling up everything else. And I should, by level 40, be down here... And down here, and then I'll be able to focus on Arcanist a bit after that. So by level 50, by the time things go to two points per level, I should have the mastery bars filled out where I want them, and some abilities ticked in where I need them. Devotion? Um, I don't know yet. I think Arcane Mine would be perfect. So I should work to unlock that at least. Yeah, so let's get some, some Aether Fire going on that. Now to put the Arcane Mines on Panetti's. Um. I don't want to theorycraft my build yet. But like I I don't want to put it in Grim Tools yet. It's still work in progress. A gun mage? That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that middle node on Rune of Hagarod. The reduced defensive ability. Hmm. I might have to give that a thought. See, the only problem is, I don't think I need it. Because... <laughs> Panetti's is gonna fill the room with missiles. So having, having the giant ice spike thing, I think would be redundant. Which is why I wouldn't go for it. I think Deadly Aim is going to be fairly standard on all Inquisitors. Because it's just activating off of a crit, right? It gives you more more damage.
Hey Sakuragi, you came in at the end of the stream. Cause I'm about to head off. Why don't we be back tomorrow? Um, with more necromancer stuff. And actually, I started an Inquisitor. I figured I'd start an Inquisitor just so I could talk about it. Um, and Inquisitor, I definitely think you should rush. Rush these two abilities for leveling. And Arcanist, you obviously want Electra's Flash Raise because it's just too good early in the game. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I don't know yet. I think it's going to be... I think I'm going to tick a point into it because just even a little bit of damage boosting and offensive ability boosting when you crit is pretty strong to me. Because that's how it works, right? You get a crit and you get the bonus. And of course, we are using Panetti's Replicating Missiles. Fill a room with missiles, that's a lot of chances to get the crit going. Uh, my normal stream times, I tend to start between 5 and 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, it's been leaning closer to 6 lately. And then I will go about 3 to 4 hours. Wait, does the skill, does the duration increase greater than five seconds? Because if it's a five second duration, five second recharge, it's up all the time. Or does the duration increase? Because that might also be a factor in determining how many points you put into it. Rune of Kalistor, the fire rune. I'm not big on the two runes. You can post the Grim Tools link. So far, the most fun build I've seen from the Inquisitor was using Flames of Ignifar with that offhand that changes it to cold damage. Okay, it's a five second duration all the time. Then yeah, it's gonna be up all the time. If it's a five second, it's a five second duration and a five second recharge. Um, But if it goes up to 10 seconds, then yeah, it's only up half the time. Oh, yeah, it's going to be up all the time if it's 5 and 5. Should be no problem keeping that buff up. That looks fine. I, um... I just don't... I don't know, it might need, it might need like, a basic attack to use, but who knows. Unless you're playing and shooting stuff. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, actually. I mean, yeah, you have to score the initial crit, but come on. Like, that's... That's insane to me. Yeah, you got some good options across the two classes. So, Aura of Conviction is basically the physical res and offensive ability. Aura of Censure is the disruption and the elemental res reduction. Then you got Casting Speed, Conversion, Retaliation, um, or s Cooldown Reduction, and Conversion. I'm leaning on going... Because I'm using a lot of cooldown base skills. I'm leaning on going star packed right now.
It is not hard at all to score the first crit with an Arcanist. I think actually that that skill could, for an Aether Ray build in this combo, make it ridiculously powerful. Because one of the things with like the Druid and doing an Aether Ray Druid is you got Star, or uh, Stormcaller's Pact, which has the crit damage on it. Then you have the crit damage on Elemental Balance, the high offensive ability with Inner Focus, and then the high crit damage with Disintegration. So to me, that's like stacking that 